wait for it guys welcome to Pila's kitchen <laughs> no, i'm just joking um i've actually decided to do a cooking vlog today as it's been highly requested and i'm really sorry i haven't got around to it it's just one of those things you don't actually remember to pick up the camera when you're cooking so um today i've got some time and i thought okay why not i'm making a lamb stew today so i wanted to record it as um, it's a dish that me and Mkwan both really like so I thought I'd share with you guys it's healthy it's really easy anybody can make it and um, yeah I'll show you how to make it okay so these are the ingredients that you'll need you'll need a leek you'll need a couple of carrots uh, you'll need potatoes and you'll need some lamb steak um, I prefer to use lamb steak because it cooks evenly but you can use any type of lamb and also a bit of chicken stock um, I add that usually just to thicken the stew. Um, obviously, I'm cooking for about three people, so, so you can increase in, uh, the quantity of the ingredients um, depending on how how many people you're serving. Okay, so um, I'm gonna get all the stuff prepared and then I'll show you how to cook the actual stew. Okay, to the loose. Okay, firstly, the first thing you need to do is actually dice your meat um, into small pieces. Um, so I've just done mine here. And um, then get your hot pan going. All right, so you want to use the pan that you're actually cooking your stuff in, and um, just so that you grab all the flavors. And we're going to actually seal the meat first. It's really important that you do this because it has a totally different flavor. Because um, when you're cooking in the stew, because it's you know like under hot heat, you don't want the meat to actually shred. So the best way to do it is just to seal it, you know, from the top and the bottom. So I'm just going to demonstrate and show you how to quickly do it. And um, yeah, I've just taken my first batch out. So you want the meat to look um, golden from both sides. Don't worry about it being raw because it will be probably cooked later on. Um, so I've just got my last batch going. And also I've got my potatoes going on as well, ready for mash later, just to add with the stew, just to get a bit of substance. Um, so that's just a quick way to save a bit of time. Um, so yeah, these will be almost ready. And I forgot to mention to put, um, you will need one onion as well. So after this, then I'm going to show you what to do next. Just done the meat. It shouldn't take you longer than 10 minutes, depending on how much meat there is. Um, in the same pan, I've just added onions. And I'm just going to brown these onions. And then add in the rest of the vegetables. Okay? Right, the onions have been browned. I've just added in the vegetables. And to this, I'm going to add in some water. Now you want enough water for the vegetables to cook and simmer in. Um, I don't really know quantity wise, but you can make a judgment. Just There should be enough water for them to simmer in. Um, and you can always add in water later if you feel that it's too thick. But you don't want to put too much water in and then having to take it all out. So, And to this, I'm going to add in the meat. So I'll add that meat in. And I'm going to add some salt, pepper. Um, I'm going to add a bit of oregano um, but you can add in parsley if you want to add in parsley or any other herb and I like adding in a cinnamon stick that's just optional because I'm an Asian and um, <laughs> I do like my spices so I'm going to add in a cinnamon stick and that is it so after that I'm just going to cover it up and just allow it to simmer and this should take about um, one to two hours um, so I'm going to actually time it and see how long it takes. Okay, so I'll see you once the dish is done. Sorry, I forgot to mention that um, I've just put in um, uh, the chicken stock. I've only put half a cube in because we really don't need that much. Um, but I only use that just to thicken the soup up a little bit. And that's it. So I've got my cinnamon in there. So my cinnamon's in there. And salt, pepper, a bit of oregano. And I'm just going to allow this to simmer now um, on low heat and um, and see and you'll notice that the stew will thicken and the vegetables will actually um, soften and actually make the stew very tasty okay and I've got my potatoes going on there once those are ready I'll mash those up and just set it aside so it is ready until um, I want to serve right, it. The stew is almost done and um, it's been about over an hour just over an hour so it doesn't take too long um, you'll know when it's done the water would have um, reduced and also the 
vegetables would have softened. I've just added mushrooms right at the end. Um, this is optional. Um, I don't always do this, but just felt like putting mushrooms in because they're really good for you. And um, so I'm just going to give it another 10 minutes um, just for the meat to totally tenderize. Um, I've got the mash here ready. You're probably wondering why I've got the mash ready now. Um, I usually bake the mash uh, in the oven for about half an hour just before I serve. Um, and in the mash I usually have salt, pepper, a bit of milk, a bit of butter. And right at the end um, I add some cheese on top of it and uh, bake it in the oven and it will be nice and crispy on the outside and soft on the inside and it's yummy! Hey guys, just sitting here watching Judy's vlog waiting for M. Kwan to get back and got the candle on I really like these candles, they're from um, Bath and Body Works and this scent is one of the signature collections and it's called Dark Kiss and it's such a beautiful smell. Um, actually, M. Kwan really likes it as well. He actually selected this one, but it's really, really nice. Um, so yeah, just waiting for M. Kwan, and as soon as he's back, um, yeah, then I'll serve food. He's back. <laughs> it's M. Kwan in To see the camera. Nick. Oh. We can't actually see you dressed smart. You get me. That's so how we roll. This is how it's funny, rolls. I actually had my phone in my hand. I thought it was gonna, I didn't want to see you, see me, like, you know, on my phone all the time. So. Mm. Okay. I've been vlogging today's dinner. Interesting. So, um, yeah. I'll see you in a bit, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, the mash has just come out of the oven, and you can see all the cheese has melted. And um, just warming up the stew. And yeah. Just ready to serve it now and voila this is the final piece there it goes nice and healthy nom nom